Hello children. Welcome to Learner's Planet. Children, in this session we will study about the food for health. So today we are going to study about the food which keeps, keeps us healthy. And we will also study about the food groups, the time to eat and the key to our healthy eating. So first we will start with the food which keeps us healthy. So children we can see here that we get food from the various kinds of plants and animals. Why do we need food? Children, we need food to live and grow healthy. And it also gives us energy to work and play. So children, we can see the various kinds of food which we obtain from different plants and animals. So, these are the examples of some healthy food which helps us to live and grow. So children, we will now study about the food groups. Children, we eat different types of food. Why? Because the food helps our body in many ways. And we should eat different kinds of foods in right quantities. To stay healthy and fit. So children, we can see that these are various kinds and the various types of food which keeps us healthy. So we should eat these different kinds of foods in right quantities. Children, we can divide food which we eat into three different groups. So what are those three different groups? The first group in which the food is divided is energy giving food. Children, the second division is the body building food. And the third is the protective food. So, children we can see that food is divided into three different kinds of groups. The first one is energy giving food. Second is body building food. And the third one is the protective food. Now children we will study about all these different groups in detail. So children First of all, we will study about the energy giving food. So what are energy giving food? Some foods which gives us energy to work and play are called energy giving foods. For example, wheat, rice, barley, maize, bread and juice. So 
these are the foods which gives us energy so these all kinds of foods are called energy giving foods now children we will study about the second group of foods which are called as body building foods so what are the body building foods some foods which help us grow and make our bones and muscles strong are called body building foods for example the eggs meat fish cheese and milk so these are some of the examples of the body building foods so these body building foods help us to grow and make our bones and muscles strong so we should also eat these body building foods and energy giving foods children this is the third group of food which we are going to study this group is about the protective foods so what are protective foods some foods which protect us from falling ill are called protective foods so here is a picture of some vegetables some fruits and milk so fruits vegetables milk and nuts are some of the protective foods which protect us from falling ill so we should eat all these kinds of foods the energy giving foods the body building foods and the protective foods children apart from all these foods we must also drink plenty of clean water every day to remain healthy so children we can see here that this is a clean water which we should drink every day without water we can't remain alive so along with the foods we must drink plenty of clean water now children we will study about the time to eat so children we can see here that there are some various groups given over here which shows different time so here we have given the approximate time on which we should have our food for example we should always do our breakfast in the morning around 7 to 9 o'clock or 8 o'clock 
So here is the approximate time given for the breakfast. Secondly, we should do lunch around 10.30 or between 10 to 12. So this time shows that we should complete our lunch in between 10 to 12. The next one is given is about the evening snacks. So this evening word itself shows that we should have snacks in the evening that is around 4 o'clock so around 4 p.m. or between 4 to 6 p.m. we should complete our evening snacks and lastly dinner or we can also call as the supper. This is our second meal. So we should complete our dinner around 9 o'clock or between 9 to 11 p.m. So this shows the time for the dinner which is in PM. So these are some proper gaps between the meals which helps you to digest the food. So we should always have some proper time gaps in between the meals which helps us to digest the food properly and to keep us healthy and fit. So children we can see that there are some proper time gaps in between our meals. Now children we will study about the key to our healthy eating. So we should follow some rules for our healthy eating. So what are those rules? We will now study one by one the first one is we should eat different kinds of food but in right quantities. So these are different kinds of foods which we should eat in right quantities. Not much less and not much more. It should be balanced. So this balanced different kinds of foods keeps us healthy. The second rule to our healthy eating is that we should eat well cooked food. So here is the picture showing the flame, the gas on which the vegetables are cooked. And this is a picture of a pressure cooker in which we make our food like different kinds of vegetables. Children, you must have seen your mother cooking the vegetables in a pan or the cooker 
and she keeps it on the gas for some time which makes the food cooked very well and then we eat so this well cooked food keeps us healthy the third rule which we should follow about our healthy eating is that we should not eat uncovered food so this is a picture showing that this is a uncovered food and the uncovered drink we should not eat this uncovered food why because it might have germs that can make you sick so we should always eat the covered food the fourth rule is that we should wash the hands before and after eating and we should all also wash our mouth after eating why because when you play and work your hands becomes dirty and your mouth also becomes dirty so we should clean the dirty hands and the mouth and then only we should eat our food and also after eating our food we should again wash the hands and our mouth the fifth rule is to eat slowly and chew your food well so we can see here that the girl is eating very slowly why should we eat slowly and chew our food well because by eating slowly and chewing the food well the food will be digested well and it will keep us healthy so we should eat slowly we can see in the picture that this girl is also eating very slowly but in this picture we see a man which is eating and also reading children always remember that while eating we should not read laugh talk or play why because it will not digest the food properly and we can fall sick so we should eat our food slowly and chew our food very well which keeps us healthy and fit the sixth rule is that you should eat and drink from clean plates and glasses why we should eat and drink drink from clean plates and glasses because from 
the dirty and very untidy plates and glasses we can fall sick so before eating and drinking we should see that the plate and the glass are clean or not so we can see in this pictures that these are some clean plates this is a clean spoon and the fork and the glasses so we should always eat and drink from clean plates and glasses seventh rule is that we should always eat fresh food because eating the stale food can make you sick what is actually a stale food it is the cooked food items that have been kept for many days so we should not eat food which is kept for many days we should always eat fresh food not the stale food so always eat the fresh food we can see here that the boy has fall sick because of the stale food so children always remember that you should eat fresh food the last rule which makes us healthy is is that we should always eat the meals at regular intervals and we should not waste the food so here is the time which shows that we should eat the meals at regular intervals and this is a picture which is showing it shows that this is the waste food so we should not waste the food and we should always eat our meals at regular intervals so children i hope you enjoyed and learned about the various and the different kinds of food which keeps us healthy so let's revise some different kinds of food which makes us healthy meat fish poultry eggs fruits vegetables milk cheese yogurt breads cereals rice pasta these are all various kinds of food which we should eat and these are the foods which keeps us healthy and fit so children always keep the habit of eating the healthy food so always stay healthy and happy thank you children